The Cougars are back in action tonight at Cougar Stadium. Several new teachers are a part of the Clay Chalkbo family. I am Jordan Cox. And I am Caitlin Oden. And this is The Morning Rundown. The Cougars begin their journey to repeat as 6A champions tonight against the Hueytown Gophers. Reporter Dorian Daniels spoke with one of the team captains on what fans can expect for the upcoming season. I'm Dorian Daniels and I'm here with Aaron Fox. How do you feel about the upcoming season? I feel real good about the season. You know, we got a lot of people here. A lot of people left, but we're still going to be good. We're going to be Clay Chalkville. How do you feel about the upcoming game on Friday? Uh, I feel good about it. You know, I know we're going to win. Okay, how do you feel about uh, Coach Floyd's first game as head coach? I don't believe there's any pressure. Coach Floyd's been my coach since my ninth grade season, so I know he's going to do good and do his job. I'm Dorian Dale, and I'm sending it back to the desk. I'm Mackenzie. And I'm Jay. Your, your varsity, varsity chair captains. captains. And we're coming to you with the Game, game Day rundown. rundown. If you didn't already know, tomorrow night is our football team first game. Well, our football team will be taking down Hewitt Town's Golden Gophers. Right here in our home stadium at 7 o'clock p.m. Tickets will be purchased for $11 on GoFans. Now it's time for this week's theme. If you didn't already know, each week we like to have a theme for each game. The theme for tomorrow's football game is Glow, Glow in, in the, the Dark. dark. We ask all faculty and students to come to school and the game decked out and everything neon. Let's have fun tomorrow night and glow crazy. All right, that is it for the Game, game Day, Day Rundown. Rundown. We'll be back next week and always remember, Go, go Cougars! Clay Chalk will welcome 27 new teachers this school year. Reporter Risha Hurt spoke with two new teachers that are now a part of our Clay Chalk will family. Hello. Miss Moore, y'all, I teach English 9th and 11th grade. So what do you like most about teaching here at Clay? Teaching here at Clay, I love the big student population. That means that it's more students with talent, interest, and academic level. And I also love the ability to work with the band, specifically the major race. How have the past few days been for you here at Clay Shop? Well, it's been pretty good. I've been trying to balance my sleep schedule, my social life, and also working with the band, but overall it's been really good. So how many years have you been teaching? I've been teaching for technically like four and a half years. And why did you come to I came to play because first is not too far from where I live and also I was excited about all of the cool career opportunities that happen here at Clay Chalkville. Hi, my name is Risha Hirsch and today I'm here with Ms. Mosley. Different, a little different, but uh, different than what I'm used to. So it's interesting. What do you like the most about Well, I always like and I always like teaching kids new things. Sometimes not always about my my content area, but I do enjoy just uh, seeing that light bulb moment go off with kids. What subject do you teach here at Clay I teach Spanish. How many years have you been teaching, and why did you decide? Well, if I tell you how many years I've been teaching, then I'm telling my age. So we may not get that answer, but um, I worked well with Mr. Binion before in the past, and Mr. Binion was integral in getting me over here to work with the color guard, and yeah, that's why I came. My name is Risha Hurt, and I'm sending back to the desk. A popular video game made its return to gaming consoles this summer. Reporter Corday Cochran got students' reaction to the new EA Sports College Football 25. What's up, guys? My name is Cordae Cocker. I'm here with Aaron Fry and Cuma Stewart, and we're here to talk about the new College Football 25. So, who are your favorite teams to use so far? Uh, I'm going to say Maryland. Go Terps. I would say Kansas State because Kobe Bryant. If y'all were in the game, what do y'all think y'all overalls would be? I'd say a 60 overall. Yeah, low 60s. Who are the most annoying teams for y'all to play against? I'd say Alabama because Jalen Merrill. Texas, just because Isaiah Bond there and he switched from Alabama. And if y'all two were the 1v1, who would come out on top? Me. I went by 50. <laughs> no, you won't. 60. No, you won't. 70. No, you won't. 80. No, you won't. All right, guys. That's all from us. We're going to take it back.
fashion is a representation of students' creativity and personality. Reporter Antonio Katie spoke with students on fashion trends for the new school year. That's all. Hi, this is Antonio Katie, and I'm here with Michael Dillard. So, when you put on your clothes, right, like, you get dressed, do you think about what you want to wear, or do you, like, just throw something and you just come out hard? To be honest, I just wake up in the morning, Ain't gonna lie, I start with the shirt. I always gotta start with the shirt because they really care to fit. Because people always look at the shirt first, then the pants, then the shoes. So look, after I find what shirt I put on, you know, I find some pants compliment, you know what I'm saying? The shirt or whatever. And then, you know, some shoes to Jeanette, the shirt, whatever. And that's it. All right, so I got another question. Got another question. All right. Do you like baggy shoes? Not baggy shoes, but do you like Big shoes, like when we got on, or do you like, or do you like New Balance? Like A6 and all A6. that. See, I think I'm gonna have to go with the big shoes, bro. I can't even lie. It's just like, it make me taller too. I can't even lie, it make me taller. You know, people can hear me when I'm coming, you feel me? It's just like, I feel like you feel me better. So that's all? Yeah. All right. This is Antonio K. For the new school year. That's all the time we have for the morning rundown. I'm Jordan Cox. And I'm Caitlin Oden. Have a great day, Clay Chalkville.